Hey guys, Brian with Buffalo Beer Reviews. Oh man, I will tell you what, uh, there is just something in the air here in Buffalo. It just seems like there are multiple, you know, beer releases. Uh, we just have, you know, names you can trust in. We have these breweries making lots of like great decisions uh, beer wise beer release wise there always seems to be an option for you whether you're in the north towns and the south towns the east side the west side we've got you covered and it's just it's a really exciting um time to be around like you know for instance like last weekend you know there was resurgence that came out with like an r d in the cans and uh community beer works also uh, had Arrowbang and uh, like we just had you know like nice options around town if you wanted to you know partake in such a thing um, I mean this is my refrigerator and it's not even anything um, you know special really but I mean if you take a look at my refrigerator I've got the 1932 that we just had on the channel a little bit ago Minky Boodle from Thin Man back in the cans uh, just posted some pictures of them another Hamburg release right um their juice box boy it's a double dry hopped ipa uh eight percent you know what i mean we've got folly i'm still waiting to get folly onto uh the channel they're collaborative with new belgium um part of their lock ipa series we've got one from four miles so one of their newest ones is their south pacific ipa you know what i mean uh, i've got an other half in here um i've got you know, one of the uh, hay burner options, this is their double dry hopped version. I've also got the passion fruit uh, hay burner that was just recently released. Um, and then I came across um, Thin Man's Burning Money. It's one of their, I believe, one of their staples that uh, people love to go to Thin Man and, and have. And that recently just made it to the can. So I was deciding on what I'm going to have on the channel today. Oh, yeah. Here's another sloop. Uh, this is their... Uh, double plus good Citra cashmere Chinook double dry hop double IPA um, I was really happy to find this but I really think that um, we're gonna go with the burning money today uh, you know it's a 6.6 percent .6%. it's an IPA uh, it's not you know that 8 percent range I've got dinner to make and uh, things to do with the kids later on this isn't gonna kill me so I'm going to get the camera set up and uh, I'll just pick back up in two seconds all right so let's get into this one right um, burning money it's one of the thin man kind of go-to names burning money bliss was also in cans I just saw that I uh, did it that did not make it into my basket at the time just because of budgetary reasons but uh, burning money uh, is their IPA bliss I believe is a double IPA so you're gonna get a little bit more kick out of bliss um, stuff like that I believe they're both on tap uh, uh, I'm sorry they're on tap at both locations their Elmwood location and their Chandler Street location if you think you want to take a look at burning money for yourself uh, I got this one at Premier Gourmet although I was just at Wegmans on Transit Road uh, yesterday and I also saw it available there so let's see what this thing looks like out of a can. You know what I mean? It may appear a little bit different outside in the sunlight as opposed to inside the tap room, you know, where the lighting conditions aren't always, you know, perfect. All right, again, this is burning money from Thin Man. So let's take a look at it. I mean, this really does, um, this really does kind of uh, hit everything that I had in my mind my recollections got this. It's this really Faint crisp yellow. It almost looks fluorescent in nature. Do you know what I mean? Uh, super thin. It's just got that smoke Haze sort of level of, of haziness. Do you know what I mean? Although it is well carbonated. It's kind of difficult to uh, to see uh, really thin uh, Lacy white head on it. Do you know what I mean? Kind of sticks around a little bit. Not bad. Totally. I'm getting little vibes of, of lemon and lemoncello and yeah, like faint, you know, faint sort of citrus notes. Yeah, some um, some piney, some earthiness to it. Uh, not bad at all, though. Hmm. 
ever so hints of like an astringency which I think is is mostly the the piney uh, that crisp pine nature to it do you know what I mean let's see how this thing goes down Wow it's got a got a, a I'd say a little bit on the thinner style of the aroma, but does a complete 180 once you uh, get into your mouth. It's a very robust sort of flavor profile on this. And you get met again with these, with these earth tones. Pine notes, pine needles, kind of a woods sort of thing, earthy. You know, it's, it's not so much on that that juice bomb and citrus juice bomb that we have from a lot of these IPAs. Um, it's a little bit on the on the toned down side, uh, but it still packs a punch with other arenas. Do you know what I mean? The uh, whatever kind of malt bill that they use, I think plays really well. It balances out these sort of hops and it gives it this really full sort of body to it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I dig this. This is a 6.6% ABV. You know, typically, uh, you know, they will have some of them, uh, the ingredients on the side. Yeah, this was uh, brewed and canned right on the Chandler Street exit, or Chandler Street um, Brewery, which is really cool. Um, let's see, overall, uh, the body of this beer may be right down the middle of the line. I'd say even just a couple of titches towards the thinner side of the body. Um, I think the 6.6% .6 is really well hidden. Um, it doesn't come across as, you know, overly alcoholic or overbearing or anything like that. Um, I think the hops are, are in proportion with the maltiness to give it, uh, I think, a well-balanced sort of approach. I like the way it looks. Um, there isn't really any sort of crazy aftertaste. I'm getting just a little bit of like a lingering lemon vibe, almost like um, almost like I've got like a lemon uh, hard candy, you know, stuck in the back of my mouth. It's uh, it's there, but it's not it's not bad. It's not unpleasant, but it's there. But you don't get any weird sort of mouth coating, any stickiness, any anything like that. And I think really the way that it's set up hop-wise and, and stuff like that, the drinkability is really going to shine through. You kind of, you have a sip, washes through, you're ready for another one. Mm. Yeah, I think this is just a nice little reminder in a can of why... You know, burning money is uh, one of Thin Man's staples. Really enjoyable. Um, even though this is a good beer, great in the can, um, I would buy it again. I'd buy it again off the draft. Uh, it's available at so many places. I don't feel as though I need to go buy this out of the can again unless you're such a huge fan of burning money that you need to have it in a can in your refrigerator all the time. Um, for me, I'm gonna I'm gonna play the opposite. I'm gonna go and get Bliss. I'm gonna get Bliss onto the channel, and uh, and it, there just seems to be a whole lot of awesome canned goodness from Thin Man that I'm going to go and and purchase and uh, re-explore. The Minky Boodle is a perfect example. I hadn't had that since the last time it was on my channel, and it was just uh, extremely nice to see that out and about in the wild and to re-experience that that beer again. So that's it for me, guys. I hope, uh, you know, a little uh, look back at Burning Money helped maybe uh, pique your interest again. Um, maybe you want to make a trip out to either one of their uh, brewery uh, locations, either Elmwood or Chandler Street. Maybe you want to go back out to Wegmans or your local beer store and pick up this Burning Money, whatever. But uh, that's it for me. Um, I really appreciate all the clicks and the likes and all that other good nonsense. Um, and it looks like, uh, you know, I've got my work cut out for me with all of these beers being released and re-released. Um, if you guys are interested, let me know and uh, I will put whatever you want on the channel. Just leave me a message. 
Okay? Cool. So until then, next time, guys, I will see you. Cheers.